June 6th every year is World Pest Day, an annual observance set aside to raise public awareness on the importance of pest control to protect food, homes, families, lives and businesses. Specialists around the globe are sharing their knowledge about pest management as it helps in protecting uh, from severe diseases, helps in maintaining food security, and results in great financial savings. Joining me now to speak about this is a pest control specialist, Tulu Caleb. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you for having me. I'm glad right. to be here. Thank you. So looking at today now, what has been the gains of setting aside uh, this day to celebrate um, this particular World Pest Control Day? Okay, today, um, 6th of June, yeah. 2021, um, is um, a, a global seven days for pest, World, World Pest Day. It started actually in 2017, you know, and since then it has been like, a, it's been a tradition mm -hmm. year in, year out. And um, it's just a day set aside to raise more awareness about pest control and also increase sensitization, increase um, the importance of pest control um, services, pest control in the society because of the, you know, the low awareness. Yeah, you said there's low awareness. Yes. Exactly. Why do you think so? Well, the low awareness is just maybe at this end. You know, in the developed countries, there's no low awareness. Okay. You know, but in Africa, in Nigeria, there is low awareness. What do you think is responsible for that? Well, what is responsible for that? I think, um, you know, here in Nigeria, um, mostly there's, when there's a policy that is not driven by the government, you know, there, there's a bit of backtracking. Mm. You know, people don't really rely. You know, um, when, while there was a coronavirus issues of recent, mm -hmm. the moment there was a pronouncement from the Lagos state government that before you resume back to your offices, make sure you do disinfection. It becomes a law. Everybody started yeah, disinfecting. disinfecting the environment. People that have not heard about disinfection before, they were actually disinfecting. Mm -hmm. You know, so for any policy to be effective, you need the serious backing of the law and also seriously from the government agency. That's the Federal Ministry of Environment or State Ministry of Environment. But do you think the government is not taking it serious and that might be the reason people don't take it serious? Uh, well, they are trying, but it can be better. Okay. They are trying. We have Lagos State Environmental Protection Agency in Lagos State. They are doing a lot. Mm -hmm. We have Pest Control Association of Nigeria. They are doing a lot. We have Environmental Health Resistance Council of Nigeria. That's Eorecon. They are doing a lot. But like I said, there is more to it. We need to do more. Okay, so talking about the COVID-19 pandemic, from the perspective of a pest control uh, manager, what would you say are your takeaways from that pandemic? Yeah, from the pandemic. The pandemic to me as a professional, as an mm. expert, was that, oh, finally, we finally had something that would boost awareness about the pest control industry. Pest control industry has been on for a while. There's an act of parliament in the year 2002 from the federal, uh, from the National Assembly yeah. that uh, mandates public facilities to conduct pest control every quarter. You know, but only few organizations are following that. You know, some people don't get to know about that. Mm -hmm. They don't even, you know, they were like, wow, there's a lot like that, you know. So the pandemic to us was like, oh, this is the game changer. Okay. You know, after the pandemic, we're going to be having people that are already sensitized, keen into the already plan. Mm -hmm. You know, we, for the first time, we have state government, you know, purchasing pest control equipment, you know, and all that. So, you know, the second phase has gone down a little bit. Mm -hmm. And it's like we're back to where we used to be. You know, mm. nobody really cares again. You know, so it's like in this part of the world, when there's no threat, nobody cares. Well, in all of this now, how regulated is this industry to ensure that we have a safer environment? Well, it is regulated, to be honest, but we have more quacks than the professionals. More quacks than professionals, exactly. why? Exactly. You know, if you go to the Lagos State Environmental Protection Agency website, you see a list of professionals. Mm -hmm. They are saying, oh, before you cons consult any pest control professional, this is the list of those that were certified that are okay. We, you know, when you go to the Pest Control Association of Nigeria website also, mm -hmm. you see a list of professionals. When you go to the list of Eurecon website, you see a list of professionals. But even at that, in Lagos State, maybe we have less than 2,000 accredited professionals. And you know the population of Lagos State, maybe over 20 million or thereabout. So for us to service Lagos, maybe we need minimum of like 1 million professionals. 
and at the moment we have less than two thousand professionals. So there's a shortfall. Okay. There's a shortfall. You know, so when you say they are regulating very well, they are trying their best, but there's a need to do more. Mm. So in that shortfall, how do we mitigate that gap, ensure that people actually use pest control managers? Sensitization. Sensitization. Um, Sensitization of, by who? By, by, by Federal and State Ministry of Environment and Health. Okay. And also Pest Control Association of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. They've been doing greatly well. And, you know, they can also intensify effort. Why do people come to your house and say, oh, take this and uh, use this and it works for this? And mm -hmm. you just accept it, not knowing what is actually, you know, in, in what you want to use. Yeah. You understand? You know, what I used to tell my colleagues in the office is that for you to know how delicate the industry is, anytime you hear someone commits to something, what do they use? Most likely, I don't want to mention the name, but there's a particular product True. that they mention. True. You know, that's to show you how dangerous our profession is. Yeah. What we use, what pe some people use to commit suicide is our whole raw, raw material mm. that we use for daily activities. You know, that shows how dangerous our industry is. Right. You know, so it's it, 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 it's it's well regulated, but we need to do more. All sensitization. All right. All right. So, pest control specialist Tolu Kelep, thank you very much for talking. Thank to you. Us. Thank you so much. Thanks for your, thank you for having me, sir.